my favorite book. It's a lot of people's favorite book. This Bible is a reminder that the biggest thing we have to bring back America and to make America great again is our religion. Religion is so important. It's so missing, but it's going to come back and it's going to come back strong, just like our country is going to come back strong. In the end, we do not answer to bureaucrats in Washington. We answer to God in heaven. Christians are under siege. We must protect content that is pro-God. We love God and we have to protect anything that is pro-God. We must defend God in the public square and not allow the media or the left-wing groups to silence, censor, or discriminate against us. We have to bring Christianity back into our lives and back into what will be again a great nation. What can we do? Stand up, speak out, and pray that God will bless America again. I'm proud to endorse and encourage you to get this Bible. We must make America pray again. This man is saying to make America great again is to bring God back in the picture. I mean, how many videos do you have to see with him talking about Jesus before you actually start to think that God changed his heart? Here's, the, here's my question to everybody who just hates Trump and to those who are Christians who hate Trump. Here's the question you really need to ask yourself. Can God change Trump's heart? And if the answer is yes, you need to ask yourself, has he? This man's life was almost taken. Can somebody come into a dramatic change after that? Can somebody repent after that? The answer is yes. And if somebody comes into repentance and you are a Christian, you are nobody to bring up their past. There is no condemnation in Christ. So if you have come into repentance and God has forgiven you, if anyone else comes into repentance, you must forgive them. No matter your emotions, that's why God wants us to die to the flesh. Because many times our emotions are wicked and wrong. This man just said, we need America to pray again. This man just said, we need God back in the world. This man just told the world to buy the Bible. <laughs> what else? What else do you want to see? If you still hate this man, you really have to look in the mirror. And understand that your heart may just be closed. And that is a scary, scary place to be. Forgive so that you may be forgiven. If God chooses to use this man, who are you to say he can't? Who are you to get in the way and say that he's not? I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, do not be that person. The way Trump is talking about Jesus, you have never, and I mean never, seen any president talking about Jesus. At first it was, oh, he's only saying God. He's not saying Jesus' name. Now he's saying Jesus' name. And it's always not serious here. I mean, how many times does a man have to talk about the Lord before you think in your mind he's serious? Well, I'm going to leave you with this. Philippians 1.18 But what does it matter? The important thing is that in every way, whether from false motives or true, Christ is preached. And because of this, I re Joyce. So my brothers and sisters, whether you think it's false or right, the fact is Jesus is being talked about. Rejoice. That's Bible. 